Keep an eye on it. Are they gonna make it? Oh man, I hope not. Oh. Okay, they didn't. I was I was I was clenching a little bit there. I was clenching, but they didn't make it. Hello everybody and welcome to TD Worlds. A I would at best describe it as a minimalistic roguelike tower defense game. Uh, some of you may remember I did this as part of a one-shot a couple weeks ago. Um, it was part of the demo at the time. I, I, I played the demo and uh, played around, enjoyed it, ended up off-camera playing another three hours of the game. And this is just the demo. There wasn't a full release of content. So I got like 3.8 hours in just the demo of this game. And I loved it, and I decided I was going to record another series. I was going to, and probably mix this in with the rest of my Minecraft content. Uh, you know, just as a reminder, uh, if you guys like the con content you're seeing, please hit the like button. It's a small thing for you, but it means a lot to a content creator. And if you want to participate in future madness and see my wild antics, please hit the subscribe button. But, for now, let's play. Save slot one. So the whole point of this game is to play as far as you can, die, fail, go back, buy more resources to make it further. Very, very roguelike. So failure is a part of the game. So we're going to see how far I can get in... Oh, a world of nothing, bright wasteland. Right. Um, I finally made it to the world. I need to protect myself as soon as possible before they find me. Good thing I know how to recycle shards of corruption into, def into defense towers. I just need to find a suitable place to build. Luckily, a tower left by the previous expedition. A luck lucky find. Oh, it's showing me here. Okay. So I can hit T here. Select this and place down a tower. You can see the range, and it's going to use up these uh, these shards. I'm just going to hit the T button here, fill in a few spots, and just wait. And here is where the tower defense aspect kicks in. Like I said, I put many, many hours in this in this game for a demo, anyways. I put almost four hours into this game, and I I love it. I love the art style; very minimalistic. Uh, it's very simple. Ooh. That is... Um, that's another uh, a currency in the game. So when you die, you can use that currency to uh, purchase additional upgrades to, you know, help you advance further in the game. So as I said, it's a roguelike. Failure. Oh, let me... Nice. Oh, it's kind of hard to see here, but I have the option of... Actually, no, this is the post-game. This is the post-run currency. This is your during-the-run currency. There'll be shops that'll take that. So I got a... So I got a currency. I think this one is a tower upgrade, is our next option. Our next branching path. And now we have two different areas that enemies can come from. I'm gonna wait a second here. Alright, they're gonna come from here first. Let's build up a staunch line of... Let's build up a staunch line of rectangles. Give them one four. Put a couple defenses here to at least deal some initial damage. When I play tower defense games, I do like to, you know, build up front more to, you know, start damaging stuff. So by the time they get to, ooh, these are some real, these are the tanky guys right here, so... We'll see if we can beat them. I'm gonna build here in an area where I can get uh, max maximize my range, basically. Uh, let's build like there. Oh, we almost got that guy. That bodes real well. That bodes very well for us. So it's basically attack of the attack of the. Heart, attack of the rectangles meets attacks. Attack of the triangles. Ooh, I can put down some more stuff. Uh, tower here, tower here, and I love that. I, I just love how minimalistic the game is. It's a, 
It's a, it's a nice art style. I, I love it. So this should be a tower upgrade. Yeah. So um, a little bit about, about the upgrades here. As I, I learned this in my demos, the uncommon upgrades will uh, have less of a bonus at the earlier levers, levels and a greater bonus at like level two. Whereas your commons start with like a greater bonus at level one, but less of a bonus at level two. So your uncommon upgrades kind of have an exponential growth as opposed to the as opposed to the common ones. At least that's the way it was in the demo. Uh, firepower is just more damage, projectile speed. Uh, I don't really think I need projectile speed. I think I'm gonna go with uh, more uh, with more damage, and it looks like we got another tower upgrade here as well. So these guys will go on a great big long path before they ultimately get to me. So we got plenty of opportunities to begin damaging them. Takes about five shots to kill these guys as of right now. Actually, I'm a little worried that they are going to get past me. Oh, they might not. They might not. Keep an eye on it. Are they going to make it? Oh, man, I hope not. Oh. Okay, they didn't. I was, I was, I was clenching a little bit there. I was clenching, but they didn't make it. Oh, come on. And like that, we completed another level. Uh... Power upgrade? Let's see here, what can I do? Ooh, a radius increase is actually really nice. So uh, these are able, are able to cover uh, more distance, making them more effective. And I have the option of another tower upgrade or getting some more of the uh, shop currency, the during the run currency. This is your post run currency here. This stuff is your during the run currency. There'll be an option for a shop. And my kind of philosophy on this is the shop currency is nice, but if you die, you don't make it to the shop. So I'm going to take another tower upgrade. Now they're coming from three directions. And if I remember correctly, they come from this direction, then this direction. Yeah, look at that range increase. So I'm going to spend two towers here to block that off. Then I want to get a tower here and a tower here to block that off. Let's put a tower here. They should start coming from this direction soon. Yeah, there they are. Since all of the enemies will converge here, I like to build up this area a little bit. So I have an option of throwing something there, which I think I'll do. And you'll notice after you place the towers, there's a second or two before they start firing. And now everybody's coming from everywhere. I'm going to double up there. Keep an eye on my money. Throw one there. That's looking good. Lots of good currency coming in. And not a problem. So firepower here, so you can see, we go from 14 to 34%. Yes, please. This is a shop. We have 50, which I think is enough to get something. Yeah. Oh, hi. My name is Topa. I was a member of an ancient expedition, then I decided I didn't want to return. Since then, I have settled down to trade in all sorts of useful things. If you have Crystal Essence... Ah, Crystal Essence. Take a look at my goods. Let's buy a tower upgrade. Ooh, so I could increase the radius, or I could increase the firepower. I'm, I'm going to go with firepower. I'm going all in on that. 
I don't remember where these guys spawn in from. Okay, in here. Oh, from two spots first. Okay. Very good damage. So I, I do have quite a bit of experience. I don't know if um, any of you are familiar with uh, Balloon Tower Defense, but that was like the tower defense game I grew up on. Definitely enjoyed it. Oh, now we got the shielded enemies here. So um, there will be a shield to be busted before we can kill these enemies. So they basically have a second health bar. And there are upgrades that you can get for the towers to uh, do more damage to shields. Although, with the amount of damage we're dealing now, we've almost got plus 100% damage increase. Oh, wait. What? Oh, shoot. This is the... Uh... Right, I remember this. So this is like a... I don't know if I can win this. They're basically going to be assaulted from, like, all sides here. Looks like a couple did get through on this side, so let's shore up the defenses there. I want to throw a tower right here. The one thing, thank you. Right, I feel a lot better about that. Oh, that's the space bar. The space bar is, uh, is pause. Feeling good about that. Let's do more damage up front. I feel like I'm barely holding on right now. Ooh, I took some damage there. I took a lot of damage there. That wasn't necessary, was it? This side is definitely my weak point, so let's reinforce. Just keep feeling and just keep filling in. I think we've got everything under control. I like a spot there. I would like a spot there. Huh. We survived that pretty handily. Uh, tower upgrade, sure. So where do they come from here? I think... They are going to hit this center aisle. Perfect. Right there, we'll grab that. Oh, we got a spot here, here. And then this right here is going to be our kill alley. Actually, I have increased the range. I can probably nick them a little bit. Yeah. That's looking real good. So I find in this game that the, the range upgrade should not be understated. Uh, being able to cover larger distance with the same amount of towers, I think, is a super, super valuable upgrade. And we've done a really good job on this level of, you know, damaging them super early and keeping them from getting to the... Uh, although that might change here. At this point, I have everything built up, so I don't see any more place where I can put towers. So, at this point, it's did I upgrade the right stuff? Oh, hey, is that... Uh... That's another shot. Hey, how's it going? My brother told me you're gonna stop by. As you can see, we have a family business here. Nice. My name is Mora, by the way. Nice. I hope you like my assortment of goods. Oh, and I hope I do too. Um, I'm gonna take the extra life. 
This is actually the final level of the run, I think. Of the round? So for that, I will take the extra shards, too. So you're the troublemaker who's been causing ruckus on my world. Yes. It's good that you came here yourself and I do not have to search for you. Uh, do not say anything. I'm not interested in listening to you. Don't worry, I will destroy you quickly. It won't hurt. That's swell. My subjects will have their fill of your crystal essence. Lovely. So this is kind of a, a cool level. Is it's, uh, it's like a duel. So we're going to duel this guy. And as the match goes on, we'll be able to build closer and closer to him until we're ultimately able to attack him. So you see that? Spot opened up. Next round's coming for us. I do feel pretty good about this that I I do have an I do have an extra life. So if this all goes goes poorly, you know, we they are getting kind of close to the uh, to my crystal. But again, I've got I have an extra bit of money. Everything's built up. I've got good range. I've got lots of damage. Uh, the good range is probably the biggest one. I'm going to build... I'm going to basically build to block off this half here. If I can pick off a lot of stuff here, then the other side, then these guys in the middle should be able to cover. Oh, now I can actually start attacking this guy directly. So eventually, I will kill this guy, and that's when this round ends, right? In the demo, this is where the game ends. You get here, kill the guy, and you win. So after this, I'm flying pretty much blind. I think I can hold him off. I'm doing a lot of good damage to him. Got extra lives. I started the round with extra money. If I don't win this, I'm going to be shocked. This is like a triangle boss. So I don't know how I'm going to divvy up the videos. I think I might just do a round, do all the post-game buying, and then end it. But again, I don't know how long these runs last. So this is all the further the demo got. I don't know what's after this. If there's even anything. I'd love there to be something after this. I just don't know what it is. I don't have to do anything. At this point, the game's just running, and I can just talk. That's awesome. It's impossible. Not impossible, but improbable. Damn you. Uh, you will not get away with this that easily. Oh. He exploded. Oh, um, I was finally able to conquer this world. There is no time to rest. I need to go further. So what is this? So I purged my first world and I'm a destroyer, apparently, according to Steam. So right here, this is about where the... So the light would take over the planet. And it would immediately take it back and I would get sent back to the home world, so to speak. Oh, it's time for the next world, so we can move on past this now. Do I get an option to... No, oh, it's just gonna jump me right in. So I, I'm, okay, I'm flying blind at this point. World of emptiness, forsaken territories. What's this? Uh, didn't expect you to be here, sis. You probably don't remember. I, Yutra, went on an expedition when you were just a tiny crystal. And now I understand that it's time to return. A lot of time has passed. Um, help me set up the defense while I, I get to read the rest of that. But this seems pretty straightforward. Defend a single kill alley. Oh! The guy, that guy split! These guys are splitting. I don't like that. We're probably going to get overwhelmed. We, we've got strong bullets, but we don't have AoE. Which could be a problem. 
which one split. I, I didn't even notice which one split and which ones didn't. I wonder if I still have my extra life. Oh yeah, I do have my extra life. You can see it down here. Okay, so far. Great! Now I can go home. Great! Thanks. Great. When you come back, find me. Good. That was easy. Uh, another tower upgrade. All right. Oh, we're going. Again, I, I'm flying pretty blind at this point. This is like a whole new world for me, and it looks great. Uh, the dev team behind this definitely did a really good job. Like, somehow capturing a nice balance between minimalist and still being very well designed. Or still having a lot of detail to it. Was that it? Okay, that was kind of an easy little. Um, every drop of firepower is important in a battle. Now, I could do more firepower. Or do more firepower. Oh, wow. So where are they coming from first? Coming from here first. Coming from both sides first. Okay. Right, so let's build here. I suspect they'll soon get past even that. So let's build here. Pray that we kill something else. Excellent. We'll build there. I am a little worried that I am about to get overwhelmed here. I think I'm I think I'm about to get overwhelmed. Yeah, I'm taking hits. Ooh, yep, this is the end of the run. Oh! Ho, ho. But that's all right. Dying is a part of the game. Oh, hey, uh Mida. Sis, how'd you get here? Well, I, I died. According to the stats, the damage you receive is incompatible with life. It's incredible that you're alive. We'll have to disturb you again. We'll equip you for a new expedition. By the way, you can check the sh by the way, you can check the shop before you depart. So there's a shop where I can buy spend this kind of blue currency on uh, extra shards on hit by the enemy, extra health health on low armor, crystal essence auto pickups kind of nice. Oh, the armory. Okay, let's see what this is. And uh, here you are, Sist. Uh, watching you fight, I figured out how I can help you. All right. You should have received one of the drops of ancient power. Oh. I can draw energy from them to upgrade your, your defenses. Unfortunately, this enhancement will not last forever, but it will last until you next visit me. In other words, you need to spend a drop of ancient power every time if you want to be more powerful. Oh. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We got critical damage. Tower shots can do critical hits, but the tower cost is increased by 7%. Tower shots freeze enemies. Projectile speed is reduced by 30. Uh, chain damage. Tower shots will hit multiple enemies in a row. Shield damage is reduced by 25%. I think I'm actually going to go for that one, but let's see what we got here. Uh, sets enemies on fire, so that's uh, damage over time. Uh, radius is reduced by 10 Ooh, explode on hit. That's kind of cool. And this is just a straight up ex um, shots causing um, an explosion. I really like the chain damage. Oh, level one. Oh, cost one. Cool. Let's go back to the shop here. And I think I will get um, extra armor on low health. But I think this is where I'm going to end today's episode. Uh, like I said, I think I'm going to put this in the regular rotation. I do like this game. So, you know, do a little bit of Minecraft during the week. Maybe play this on the weekends. But I think this game is going to enter into my regular rotation. So, as I said, if you want to see more of this content, please hit the like button. It helps me out as a creator a lot. Uh, if you want to see more of my antics, hit the subscribe button. We'll be happy to have you. Uh, but until then, guys, be seeing you.